Mr. Craig Nilly. Morning. Morning. As president of the Board of Directors of Los Angeles Police Protective League, I'm here today to speak on nearly 10,000 members of, and express our shock and outrage at the decision made by the commission and the finding of one of our officers involved in the shooting of a known gang member, Isaiah Ford, out of policy. <laughs> this decision and the f faulty... Excuse this me. decision and the faulty reasoning behind Excuse it... Excuse me, Mr. Lally, pause just a moment. We'll give you your time. Please take your seats. I'm going to... Be before we proceed, I'm going to read again the rules that are, gonna, that are in operation. You will be asked... You will be asked to leave if you do not take your seat and keep quiet. Mr. Lally, please give me a moment. There were some people who weren't here at the beginning when we established. All right, so listen to me, please. I'd like to remind all that the time limit to speak on any item is two minutes. If you are speaking on an item other than general public comment, please keep your comments on the topic of the item. If you go off topic, I will ask you to get back on topic. <coughs> if you do not do so, you will forfeit the remainder of your time on that item. Please be respectful of each speaker's comments and adhere to the two-minute time limit. The Commission does want to hear your comments. However, I will maintain order and ask that you respect each other in this Commission. I request that there be... Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish, and I'm going to finish, and please keep quiet until I finish, okay? I request that there be no applause or yelling out during comments of speakers or during the meeting. If the meeting becomes disruptive, I will call a recess and those who are disruptive will be escorted out of the meeting <coughs> so we can resume for those who are not being disruptive. Now, I hope everybody understands what that means. The, the behavior that we just saw today and every day going forward, we're not tolerating that. No one will speak while you're speaking. If the commission has a question or comments to make while you are speaking, we will stop the clock so that you do not lose any percentage of your two minutes. Mr. Lally, please proceed. This decision and the faulty reasoning behind it was irresponsible and the potential of putting our officers at risk. I found the comments made over the weekend by Police Commissioner Madison on NBC Colin Nolan show both disturbing and insulting. Commissioner Madison attempted attempting to equate a perceived change in the law regarding Hayes compared it to slavery or women's voting rights is equally insulting. That comparison had nothing to do with the situation of Ezeal Ford, a known gang member. In choosing to illustrate changes in the law with the examples from a very, very different time. Your language can easily be seen as demeaning to today's police officers. I hope that you and the others on this police commission will agree with me that that kind of thinking and language has no place on the police commission. Also, when asked by Mr. Cullen, and, and I quote uh, Mr. Nolan Show, had Mr. Ford successfully taken away an officer's gun and shot both officers dead, this action would still be in policy. You replied, it's possible. That could only hope that the police, that Commissioner Madison was confused by that question. Does she be really believe that the deaths of two police officers at the hand of a known gang member would take, would took one of their guns would be blamed by the officers themselves? If the commission continues to go down this road, even when an officer makes a mistake on reasonable suspicion, their lives will be forfeited. Then to, Thank you. Mr. Gary Inglinson. In about 30 seconds, we're going to recess. All right, sister. What I'm telling you is that you are going to keep quiet while other people are speaking, or we're going to clear the room. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Gary Ingemunson, Independent Counsel for the Los Angeles Police Protective League. I'd like to make just two points. First, this Sunday, Commissioner Madison appeared on NBC4 News Conference Program. She was asked as to what should happen to these police officers. She stated, quote, what I can say to you is that the decision about discipline or not is 100 percent up to the chief. However, annually the police commission reviews the performance of the police chief. I will leave it there, unquote. 
That sounds very much like a veiled threat, and that is improper. What is correct about the statement is that the discipline is 100% up to the police chief. The police commission gets to determine whether a use of force is administratively <coughs> disapproved, but only the chief of police can impose discipline. This is the American system of government, checks and balances in action. That decision should be made free of political inference. The chief should be considering the facts, not his rating report. Second, the commission failed to follow its own use of force policy in determining that Officer A's use of force was out of policy by considering what it termed a, quote, legally inappropriate detention, unquote. The Inspector General's report, entitled Review of Categorical Use of Force Policy, February 2014, on page 18, when discussing the adjudication of tactics, says this, quote, the OIG also notes that this classification does not encompass evaluation of pre-shooting decisions that do not fall into the category of tactics, including, for instance, decisions regarding the legality of detentions or searches, unquote. Graham versus, Comer, uh, versus, Graham versus Connor is the proper standard. Imposing California tort law on a constitutional principle is unwise and unnecessary. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm TJ Tarima with the Los Angeles Police Protective <coughs> League. For 17 years, I was in patrol with the LAPD before I was elected to the board of the LAPPL. I'm still in regular and close contact with the men and women patrolling Los Angeles every day. Many of them have reached out to me since the commission's finding. Let me assure you, the mood among these brave officers is grim. They now go to work with the notion that each and every action they take will be scrutinized after the fact to see whether or not it is in policy. What exactly could that mean? I'll tell you. You essentially have told us in no uncertain terms that when police officers observe possible criminal activity with prior knowledge of the area, the actors, and the crime trends, this no longer warrants them to investigate it. What you have done is ignored widely accepted and approved poly, uh, police investigative practices and protocol that will only result in greatly reduced observational investigative work and therefore erode public safety. Now officers can no longer apply the behaviors and criminal activities of the past as rationale to intervene in situations clearly unfolding in front of them. Excuse me for being blunt, but this is crazy. The chief has stepped in on our behalf, and for that we are grateful. Thank you, chief. The commission's role is to implement recommended reforms to improve service to the public by the department and to reduce crime and the fear of crime. How can we possibly carry out our mission with the new set of rules that you have created? And the violent act of attempting to take a police officer's gun away is no longer considered an egregious and life-threatening situation because they never should have stopped the suspect in the first place. By basing your ruling on the totality of circumstances, you have essentially stripped every cop of their experience, instincts, and knowledge of an individual's criminal past knowledge of the community and criminal activity. What this boils down to is simple. We are being asked to fight crime, but only if it fits your agenda. This is crazy, disappointing, disgraceful, and it is wrong. And every cop is going to rethink when and if they intervene in dangerous situations ever again. Thank you, Mr. You have Chajamal. made the city your that much more unsafe, up. and your name will, names will go down in infamy. Uh, the clock was 1.50. I accidentally stopped it, so I restarted it, and it's time. Your names will go down in infamy as a police commission that hamstrung a great police force in its mission to serve and to protect the Thank law. you. Thank you.